In Hawaii, there are certain times of the year which we call mango season. Anyone with a mango tree knows that when your tree has fruit, you better harvest those mangoes before you miss your chance. Knowing the right time to pick your fruit is very important if you enjoy your mangoes sweet and ripe. So it goes with fishing. If you grew up in Hawaii catching fish for your dinner, you also know that fish come and go with the seasons, just like fruit. Today's adventure begins at 3.30 in the morning at the boat launch in Hilo. No doubt about it, the guys I'm with believe in the old saying, the early bird catches the worm. Our skipper and the boat owner on this trip is Chris Kagawa. Chris has loaded up the boat with all his fishing toys and fishing friends, and after a two-hour boat ride, we begin dragging the lures. If you fish this way, you know that this is the best time of the day to be trolling. So, let's see if we can get lucky. There we go. We had a knockdown. We missed that fish, but Chris saw something that has made him change his mind about using lures. So let's try this. Mark is switching to whole pieces of Opelu as bait. Let's see what happens. Hanapa, there we go. Fuck up. Go get them, guys. <laughs> but try not to make this look so easy. All right, okay. good deal. If Opelo bait worked once, it should work again. Yeah, that's good. There we go, fish on. Here it comes. Getting close, guys. <laughs> Done deal. Well, let's do it again. Like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's just a matter of time before Mark finds us another fish. There we go. Looks like we found the school. Man, did we time this right. Today, the ocean is ripe with mahi-mahi. For those of you out there who have gone fishing like this, you know how rare it is to stumble across a big school like this. And for those of you who haven't done this kind of fishing, it must be pointed out that most of us will fish for months, sometimes for years, before this kind of luck kicks in. <laughs> All right. So when the day finally comes when luck is on your side, you have to have the quick skills to catch these fish and the experience to manage the chaos on the boat. Oh, and boy, it sure looks like Chris, Mark, and Mitch have all these things going for them today. Seven. <laughs> By now, you know the drill. Chris sets the hook, and Mitch cranks them in, and a fish goes in the box. Tell you what, folks, when the fishing action is this intense, we don't spend much time talking. Okay, let's go over this again. Chris sets the hook, and then Mitch cranks them in, and then Mahi Mahi goes into the fish box. Okay, that's it. We have enough fish to make everyone we know happy. 
This weekend, our family and friends will be getting some fresh fillets of mahi-mahi along with their bag of mangoes. Thanks to the uncles. Time to get back now and start cleaning fish. Folks, a lot of people to say thanks for this great fishing trip. Chris, Mitch, of course, Mark. Folks, don't go away. A lot more of the fishing show is coming your way right after you catch this. Ugh.